What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It's your big home in the building, D Fresh King, aka Injurious of Fire, and welcome to another episode of the Powerful Moments Podcast. I'm your host, what's up, what to do, what is popping. Yo, we're going to talk about, we're going to do a haul for y'all. We're going to do a Walmart haul for y'all, so I want y'all to stay tuned. At the end of this episode, you guys are going to see what I got. You guys going to go and see what I, you know what I mean? You guys are going to see what I have, or what I want to show y'all, and what I want to talk to you guys about, because I, I got some for y'all. So as you can tell by the topic, we're going to do a haul in a... In a and whatever topic I put next to it, yeah, that's going to be the topic. That's going to be more topics. So, your girl, um, FedEx just showed up, and your girl got this from Walmart. So, uh, and I'm going to tell you this. I ordered this yesterday, last night. I think it was last night or the day before. I probably, I don't know when. I think it was yesterday or the day before, one of them. But I ordered it, and I ordered it, so I said... Let me get some, let me buy some stuff for, um, as I said in my previous episode, where I said that I'm, um, uh, where I said in my previous episode, I said I want to get stuff like, you know, to, to, um, take care of my self-care, because I, we did spoke, uh, we spoke about self-care in the recent, recent, well, in the recent, recent episode, and I want y'all to know about the meaning of taking care of our well-being and what and what is required of us as a person because you want to uh, make sure to take care of you you know what i mean so i hope this all sheds some light in what you can can buy for yourself what you can take it for yourself because what i do what i did i i buy stuff that i i'm gonna um use that I'm going to cook. So, uh, so I'm just going to show y'all. And, yeah, I'm just going to show y'all. So, because I'm all about um, eating healthy. Because certain, f- certain foods I got to back off. Because your girl getting older. I'm th- Guys, I'm halfway to 40. And I got to buckle my ass down. I can't, I can't eat everything as... Um, like, you know, I can't eat, um, too many things like I used to do, but I used to do, but your girl, your girl still love her Cheetos, you know, I, I love my Cheetos all day, every day, cause, you know, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna outgrow Cheetos, but let me see, well, we'll see about that as I get, as I get older, <coughs> excuse me, and I'm about to, um, I'm going to put my juice in the fridge because I'm um, starting to get thirsty. So, the the thing that comes today is the juice. No, not the juice yet. Well, the part of the juice. So, that's funny. I got the juice first because what I did is there is two, there's four juice. There's four juice. I got the, the um, the first two, the other two is coming. So, here's so um, I got from Walmart is is this one right here. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna make this right now because your girl is hungry right now because your girl was out of out of out of food and stuff. So I was eating on the corn because corn is good for you. And the thing is, that I say you know let me um because I'm that way. I like to I like to strategize. I like to eat something on the healthy side because your girl you know because your girl be like you know I gotta make sure I take care of my well being and my body so your girl is about to make this your girl is about to warm this in the microwave so because your girl is hungry cause and I tell myself that I, I wanna get things that I could um cook because um and if y'all if anybody said I can't cook uh have you been watching my episodes? Have you been Have you been watching my shorts lately? Yes, I've been cooking. I've been cooking. And anybody tell uh, if anybody tell you that I can cook, they're lying to you, my friend. 
They're lying to you. Come to the source. Come to the source. Don't go to anybody else. So, I also got um, this beans. This is Hormel Shelly. No beans, no artificial ingredients. Guys, this is this is this is what I um I'm the type of person who finds stuff that doesn't have no artificial thing because it's good because I say you know what let me because I gotta buy things that are not artificial so I say let me get this and I will be cooking this. I wonder if I should cook this instead of instead of this. Yeah, probably. Yeah, but this is for the damn. Y'all, it's for the hot dog. So, that means I can't cook this yet because um, I got to put it on a hot dog because on the front, it said you could put the beans on the hot dog. So, I don't have to, but I want to put it on a hot dog because it, it's a good combination. It's just a good combination. The next thing I have is mashed potatoes. This is for cheese. Yo, your girl going to be in this kitchen and getting some getting some grub because I'm going to be cooking some good food because I'm I buy food that I could um that that I can make that I could make because you know what I mean cause your girl be in the kitchen a lot these days and it's good to be um because you know I gotta cook for myself ain't nobody gonna cook for me you, ain't nobody gonna cook for me so I gotta cook for myself so you know so I gotta do that and your girl got black beans. Um, black beans. I Me, mean, I bought black beans before by itself, and it's so good. And this is very good, guys. This I recommend this. I recommend this. So what? What you saw? I recommend you get this. This is a Mexican style. This is a protein bowl. I like that. I probably I'm a I'm a warm this up and eat it because I'm hungry right now. So. This is I recommend this because this black bean this black beans is good for you. If they say black beans are good for you, I don't know. They probably live under a goddamn rock. I'm just being honest. And and the and the the other two is the cranberry. Your girl got cranberry juice. I'm about to put this in the fridge because um yeah I'm about to put this in the fridge by the way and this other two here so this is this is what came in the in the box nothing else so i hope this has i hope you guys um see um understand and see what i got because i buy as i said before i um i buy stuff that i could be able to cook and to be able to use so um i, I say you know what basically i said let me let me get something that i could be able to just Put in the microwave and just quick for just just one thing because your girl I like to cook you know what I mean I like to cook I like to be able to cook um stuff so I buy things that I can be able to cook so I said let me so I tell myself you know what this is vegan by the way guys this is vegan and this has high fiber so at least I'm getting my fiber and I'm getting my fiber and all that kind of stuff because this is amazing. Because I'm going to tell you what's in this. Are you, and you guys are going to be like, oh. So in this, this is a medley of whole grains and beans with Mexican style citrus cilantro vinaigrette. And guys, this shit is vegan. And you, and I know you probably said, D, you're, you're vegan now? Nah, I like to try things out. Yo, your girl love food. Your girl love food. I love food. I love food. I love any type of food. So me, I'm a foodie. I love food. I'm that kind of person. I like food, to be honest with you. So anyway, I'll be right back because I'm going to put this in the microwave. And yeah, I'm going to put this in the microwave because, yo, uh, your girl is, uh, na 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 na. <laughs> you said I did that? I just drop in DMX. I just drop in DMX. For real. I said, uh, na 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 na. So, I'm gonna definitely warm this up in the microwave because this is, it says it's microwavable. 
because I'm about to okay all right so I gotta put this in the microwave for 60 seconds so I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna okay so let me do this I'm gonna pizza peel back film halfway microwave bowl for 60 seconds it's a ca caution the bowl and it, and the contents are going to be hot after microwave and then after that I and then after the 60 seconds I take it out then I peel off the film all the way and then drizzle I have to drizzle the dressing so I got to put the dressing on it I can't put the dressing on it like um I can't put the dressing on it like before I do that afterwards it's telling me to do that and then after that then I stir it I have to stir stir I have to stir it real good and then I'm gonna start eat it because it's good it's good to try things out because your girl, man I'm gonna tell you something I never tried this out I never tried this out for real so I'll be back and I'm gonna um, I'll come back and then um I'll come back so I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna stop right here for a minute and then I'm gonna jump back in when I I'm gonna come back and once it's done I'm going to go back and then come back. So, yeah. I'll be back. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So, I'm back. Your girl just um did that. Yeah, your girl just um went up. It was it was 60 seconds, guys. It was 60 seconds. So, the box said to put it at 60 seconds. It said 600 minutes. So, so I did that. Put it at 6 seconds. So now I'm about, I peel it off and I'm about to put the dressing on and stir it. So, yeah. And this one thing I like about it, it's quick and easy. So, because, you, you know, you don't got to go on the... It's good to cook and stuff. But, like, you know... You know what I mean? So I did that. I just put the the dressing on it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm a uh, I don't wanna lip spell it. See, yeah. But I'm gonna take a picture of it and I'm gonna put it on Instagram. And then I'm gonna mix it up. I suppose it's stir first, but huh? Hold it. Yeah, I was supposed to put stir first. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. It just said, it said peel out the firm, drizzle the dressing, which I did. And after I drizzle the dressing, then I stir. So, yeah, I did the right thing. Okay. Thought I did. Yeah, I thought I. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys. So, we're going to talk before I even. Um, start eating this thing, but we're gonna talk. I'm gonna give you some um, signs. I'm gonna give you some signs. So give me a minute. Let me just tear this real good, and it's nice. Mmm, like it. Mmm. People gonna think I'm vegan. It's good to try, as I said, it's good to try things. I'm all about trying things, to be honest with you. I'm all about trying. I'm that type of person. I like to try different types of food, and I just love it. So, I'm going to give you some signs here. I'm going to give you some signs. Oh, hold on a sec. Second, let me get trying to find a topic for the day because I wrote it down. Your girl wrote down the topic, so, so so you see, guys, I make sure I'm that person. I always make sure I I'm prepared, make sure everything I put everything together. Yeah, so that's why I said we're talking about signs. So I'm gonna tell you a sign to know when a woman is a compulsive liar because if yes because i remember yesterday i said i said um we talk about why do men lie and we 
talk about we talk about that and I, I, now what you know what as a matter of fact we ain't going to do the signs it's new the signs. We're gonna do why women lie. I know that it says um, it applied to because the 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 thing why women lie is um, the same, but it has diff is it has a difference. So we're gonna do. Let's see why women lie. And guys, and I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna make a disclaimer. I am not in any form bashing women. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, guys. I had to take that phone call. That is for business wise for the for the wedding thing because they're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna tell you this. They're gonna. Uh, I'll be back, guys. I'll go back. Yeah. Sorry about that, guy. Yeah. It's like they just picked the. <laughs> Lord Jesus, they just picked this time to be calling me when I'm recording the episode. Mm. She, I didn't even say grace. My bad. Amen. So let's go through this real quick. Let's go through why women lie. It's pretty much... The same as what I've said in yesterday's episode. It's it's like because uh, uh, um I'm gonna be I'm gonna say this, women like men they do they do make life for a variety of reasons that are often complex and context dependent. And if you see me looking at I got my notes right here and all that kind of stuff. And and at the end of this episode, you're gonna know this um why women lie. As well, because men did it. Now we're talking about the woman's side, and I must say this: I'm gonna make a disclaimer. I did not say this. I started a disclaimer, and I'm, I didn't finish it. Disclaimer is: I'm not bashing women. So please stop coming for me, because I made that dis disclaimer. I'm not talking all women. These the major the majority of them. The other but the other woman, not every woman. I'm talking about. Is the woman who does these things, period. So it's important to recognize that the reasons for lying are not necessarily gender specific, but can be influenced by societal expectations, personal experiences, and individual circumstances. So I'm going to give you some common reasons. Uh, excuse me. Oh, my, my, my. Jesus. I know what's going on today. <laughs> My bad, y'all. It's, it's like... <laughs> anyway, so here's some common reasons why women might lie. Along with some, I will give you guys some details and examples. The first thing is the same thing as yesterday. To avoid conflict or negative consequences. So, to 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 elaborate... It, one of the most common reasons women lie is to avoid conflict or unpleasant situations. They may lie to prevent arguments, hurt feelings, or repercussion. And that can result from the truth. Like, for example, a woman might lie about her opinion on a sensitive topic to avoid a fight with her partner. And... And the next example is she may downplay her own needs or desires to uh, to avoid seeming confrontational or demanding. So the next one is to protect themselves or others. To elaborate, a woman may lie to protect themselves from harm, judgment, or to safeguard someone else's feelings. So trust me, I've witnessed this because um, the, the person who's lying to me is my own mother. And I don't even think she's really my really birth mother, to be honest with you. Because my real, it's just like, oh, that's another episode. Let me, mm. so this type of lying is often rooted in a desire to shield themselves or loved ones from emotional 
or physical pain. And for examples, a woman might lie about her whereabouts to protect her privacy or safety, especially if, she, if she's being if she's feels threatened. And the second example, she might tell a friend that their outfit looks good, even if she doesn't think so. So to avoid hurting her, their feelings. The third thing is to maintain privacy or control over personal information. Mm -hmm. To elaborate, sometimes women lie to keep certain aspects of their lives private or to maintain control over information that they do not wish to share. Like for example, a woman might lie about her relationship, status, or financial situation to maintain her privacy to avoid unsolicited advice. And the second example is she may lie about her past experience if she feels that sharing them will lead to unwanted judgment or questions. The next one is to meet social expectations or norms. To elaborate social pressures and expectations, it can lead women to lie to conform to what they believe is socially acceptable or to fit into certain roles or stereotypes. Like for example, a woman might lie about enjoying a social event. For real. Oh, it, ha it does happen. Or activity just to fit in with her peers. And the second example is she may lie about her level of interest in a date or, or relationship to avoid appearing rude or unkind. Um, the next one is to gain approval or acceptance. To elaborate, in some cases, women may lie to gain approval. They want, want somebody's approval, validation, or acceptance from others. This type of lying is often driven by a desire to be liked or to avoid rejection. So for example, two examples. For the first example, a woman might exaggerate her accomplishments or downplay her struggles to seem more impressive or relatable. And the second thing, example is she might lie about agree with someone else's opinion to be seen as agreeable or likable. Well, this does happen for real. Mm. Next one is that about that to manage or manipulate situation to elaborate. Lie can sometimes be a tool to manage or manipulate situations to one's advantage. This can be done consciously or unconsciously, and can range from harmless while. Harmless white lies to more significant deceptions. So, for example, two examples. <coughs> Excuse me. A woman might lie about her availability to avoid to ask. Yeah, for real. She, a woman might lie about her availability to avoid a task she doesn't want to do. I've, I've, I've seen this all the time. I've seen this in. Mm, and the person will know it's 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 just it's just effed up for real. The second one is she might tell a white lie to smooth over a social interaction, like pretending to remember someone she doesn't. The next one is to cope with insecurity or fear. To elaborate, insecurity, fear of inadequacy, or fear of being judged can drive women to lie as a coping mechanism to present a more favorable image of themselves. For example, a woman might lie about her age, weight, or other personal details that she feels insecure about. The second example is she might lie about her knowledge on a subject to avoid appearing uninformed or unintelligent. The next one is to avoid hurting someone's feelings. To elaborate, women often lie with good intentions, aiming to spare others from discomfort, disappointment, or emotional pain. These lies are usually well in intentional, well intentioned, but can sometimes lead to complications along the way. So for example, a woman might tell a friend that everything is fine when it when it is not fine to avoid burning them with the, her problems. So 
The next thing, the next example is she may lie about her opinion on a sensitive topic, like someone's appearance or choices, to avoid causing hurt. The next one is to escape from unwanted situations. Oh, oh, this happens too. To elaborate, lying can be a quick way to exit from uncomfortable or undesirable situations without confrontation or further complications. So two examples. So also there's a difference because the men one has one example and the woman has two examples. So for, for the first example, a woman might claim she's busy when she doesn't want to attend a social event, literally. And the second example is she may lie about already having plans to avoid an awkward date or meeting. Huh, yep. Yeah. The next one is to preserve their self-image. To elaborate, women might like to protect their self-image to present a version of themselves that aligns with how they wish to be seen by others. For example, a woman might lie about her accomplishments or or embellish stories to to uh, appear more successful or interesting. In second example, she may omit certain truths or fabricate details to maintain a specific image in front of friends or colleagues. So um, that is all I'm going to say for now. Uh, these are all the, these are all the, I give y'all 10. There's going to be a part two. But I want to, I want to say something right here. <clears throat> and if, if you see this, if, if you see this in a woman who is oh, dying, you, you and you will know that this is, this is telling you it, to know the difference between who is lying and who ain't lying. You, so, you know what I mean? So you're going to know because you have a w woman who lies too. So you will determine. So I hope this has shed some light to know if that, if that, if that woman is lying to you, if that lady is lying to you. So understanding the context of lying, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you this, <clears throat> excuse me. Ooh. It's important to recognize that not all lies are malicious. Not, not all. It's nothing is wrong with get away with a little white lie. Nothing is wrong with that. But if you're constantly doing it, that's a different story. So, so I'm saying it's not, it's not all, uh, all lies that are malicious are meant to deceive in a harmful way. Many lies are told out of a desire to protect oneself or others, to navigate social complexities, where simply because it feels like the easier or safer option in the moment. Understanding the motivations behind lying, it can help foster empathy and create healthier communication patterns in relationships. So these are, so that's what I want to share with you guys. And I gave you all 10. Uh, if you see, as I said, if you see somebody, you know what, the, you, you, you know who is, who is, who is the, who is lying, who's a deceiver, and you know who ain't. So it's all about just paying attention to your environment. And that's it. So I hope this, this episode shed a light on you to know the difference. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for me at the end of the episode. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I, I hope, and if this is, apl this applies to somebody, if you know somebody, was going through the same thing or you're going through the same thing you you see a woman going through that you and if you see that share it to the person who needs to, to the person who um think that somebody is lying yeah this this episode is going to help you along the way anyway guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much make sure to like comment and subscribe if you have any questions or comments you want to ask me Feel free to leave it in the description below. And I'll just thank you so much. Make sure to follow me on all social media platforms. And don't forget to check out my other channels that I do have. And it's going to be on my YouTube channel, my wedding channel, and my music channel. Go check it out. And I'm putting together um, I'm putting together a, an academy website and a YouTube channel for it. So make sure to stay tuned and, and follow me on all social media platforms. Be blessed. And all that is going to be down in the description below. Thank you so much. I'm your host, D Fresh King, aka Angel Red Sapphire, and you're watching Powerful Moments Podcast. Thank you so much for joining, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for making it edit and of 
good video. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm your host, D Fresh King. Peace. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.